Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So there's been a whole ton of season three leaks for Halo Infinite, and we're gonna go ahead and just cover them all here. Most of these are cosmetics, but some of them are other stuff as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look here. So let's start off with the armor effects. So the armor effects for season three have been leaked. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first one. So the first one here has some kind of like hexagon panel, blue panel kind of things on your shoulders. Looks pretty neat. Let's go on to the next one. We got some kind of circuit board on the shoulders as well it looks like a bunch of like circuit boards or something really interesting and on to the third one we got some kind of visor here it looks like he's about to shoot some lasers out of his eyes superman kind of thing uh looks really interesting it looks a lot like the one from cyber Sh the cyber showdown event um except it looks a lot better it also has a bunch of like circuit stuff like wiring or whatever uh so they're definitely going for like some kind of theme here moving on to the next one we got more shoulder pad effects and once again i mean i don't know what else to say just a bunch of dots uh it looks all right not really a fan of that one and on to the final effects we got some kind of weird triangle thingy wrapped around the legs it's just like the other one where it had hexagon panels except this time it's like triangles uh very interesting all right so now let's go ahead and cover the new mark 7 stuff so we'll start with the helmets so the new mark 7 helmets have actually been leaked and wow these actually look pretty nice now I do want to note that we don't know the name for these yet, but anyways, let's take a look at all of them. So the first one here on the left, we got some kind of, uh, this one looks like the one from Halo 5. I forgot what it's called, but it's definitely one from Halo 5. And on to the second one, which I think is really interesting, seems to be like the security helmet from Halo 3. Um, it does look a lot like it, and I'm assuming it probably is. Anyways, let's go on to the third one. The third one is some kind of like EVA helmet. Uh, not much to say about it. Um, I'm not really a fan of the open visor helmets. All right, let's move on to the fourth one here at the bottom. And this one is personally my favorite out of the six here, or rather five. And this one looks a lot like George's helmet, um, except in Mark 7 style, if that even makes any sense. But um, yeah, I really like this one a lot. And on to the last one looks a little goofy. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about the last one. That one looks a little goofy. Not sure what that one's uh, based off of. Or it might just be an entirely new helmet. Anyways, that's all the Mark 7 helmets. Let's move on to the new Mark 7 coatings. Alrighty, so here are the new Mark 7 coatings. So my favorite one is probably this one with the blue and the red camo kind of thing here. That one I really I'm really digging. So now let's take a look at some of the new visors that got leaked. And let's start out with the first one here, which seems to be some kind of like pattern uh, with a lot of green. Not entirely sure what this is let's go on to the second one and the second one seems to have some kind of like well of course it's like orange but it has like some kind of like little red what is that like ruby things i don't know it looks really interesting let's move on to the third visor the third visor looks a little funny um it's a bunch of like polka dot things not a huge fan on this one but i do like that we're seeing a bit more unique visors here so those are the three new visors that got leaked. Now let's move on to the new HCS coding. So I'm guessing this applies to all the armor cores. But yeah, let's take a look at the new team coatings for HCS. So we got Cloud9, we got Complexity, E United, Phase, G2, Esports, Nave, uh, Optic, Quadrant, and Sentinels, Space Station, and Fnatic. I would say I'm really digging the Quadrant one. I think this one looks really interesting. Alrighty, so that's the new HCS coatings that are going to arrive with Season 3, I'm assuming. So the Mirage Core description actually got leaked here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what it says. So it says, Mirage IIC armor builds on the foundation of the Gen 1 Mirage and semi-powered infiltration spy armor program to create low-cost multi-role powered assault armor that meets baseline Gen 3 Mjolnir standards. Uh, that's quite a mouthful. Honestly, I have no idea what the hell that even means. But uh, yeah, there's a bit of lore to it. <laughs> now let's take a look at the Mirage coatings. So these are the Mirage armor coatings. They all got pretty much leaked. And wow, man, these are some good coatings. So a lot of them are, so some of them I believe are from the Mark 7 as well. Because uh, some of these coatings do cross over with the other cores. But yeah, there's a few new ones here, which I really personally like. The Blood Wake coating, that one looks really nice. Oh, I gotta say, this one with, like, the magma, too, looks really freaking sweet. I, oh, I'd love to see how that looks. Anyways, moving along here, let's go ahead and take a look at the next armor core, which is the Chimera core, or Chimera core. I don't know what the heck it's called. But, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So, the description for this core also got leaked, and this one sounds really cool. So, it says, Executors are born of evolved minds, seeking a perfection of the bipedal war machine. 
Their flesh and bone is broken, compacted, rewoven, and overwritten into a hybrid where man and machine are almost indistinguishable. So yeah, if you didn't know already, the, it's supposed to be like some kind of like, it, it reminds me of kind of like Scorn if you guys played that game. It's kind of like that basically, or some people are saying Crisis, um, and it looks, I really dig this core, it looks really cool. I'm excited to see, um, you know, all the armor pieces and stuff for this core. So the Mark V coatings also got leaked, so it seems like we're getting some new Mark V coatings as well. Um, and yeah, we got some pretty nice ones here. Some of them are on other cores as well, but um, yeah, these are pretty cool. I think my favorite out of all of these right now, I would say is probably the Steel Soldier. Um, I don't know, that one looks really nice. So they also leaked some cross-core coatings. So all these coatings here that they show are cross-core, so you can equip this on all cores, I'm assuming. And look at that, we finally got like some kind of white coating <laughs> called Silent Snow, so I'm looking forward to that one. Temple Ground sounds really interesting. Um, but yeah, most of these are pretty basic. A few of them are a bit more unique. But um, yeah, I'm just surprised we got like a white coating finally. So Delta Index also leaked the key art for Season 3. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. Uh, maybe it's going to be for like... Um, honestly, I don't know. I guess it's just art, right? So Delta Index actually leaked the event dates. Now these, of course, are subject to change. But as you can see here, the narrative one starts at March 7th all the way up to March 21st. And then for the first fracture week, we got March 21st, ends on March 28th. And then week two fracture, we got April 11th and it ends on April 18th. And then we go to the second part of the narrative event, which is on May 2nd and ends on May 16th. And then we got the week three fracture and the week four fracture. And apparently it ends on June 27th which is about like three months. So we are probably going to be getting shorter seasons. So a bunch of new stances also got leaked. So we got the Olympus Fusion Coil, St Stodic or Stodic, I don't know. And then we got Firewall, Bandit, Cyber, Anime, <laughs> Olympus Stalker Relax, and Olympus Rifle Relax. So Delta Index did say that Olympus stands for Mark 7, and I think Firewall is Mirage, I think, um, if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, it looks like we're going to get a fusion coil stance, which is pretty cool. And the other ones are pretty standard, um, you know, with the new bandit rifle. Of course, we're going to get like a new stance with that. Then we got like a stalker rifle. So Delta Index actually went ahead and leaked all the helmets for the Mirage Core and the Chimera Core. Now, there's no pictures for them, but they actually have like the descriptions the names and everything. So if you want to check out like the helmets and all that, and like the description they even have the attachments literally all on their discord definitely join their discord but anyways let me know what you guys think i'm definitely looking forward to the chimera core i think that one looks really interesting but yeah with that being said consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support and i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace